Hey, what's up guys? So I recently took an eight day vacation and in this video, I'm gonna show how the ET8550 that I converted into a DTF printer held up after some extended time away. So let's get into it. So this Thanksgiving, we stayed over in Kissimmee for a few days before heading out on a five day cruise that left from Port Canaveral. Now, while we were over in Kissimmee, the Airbnb that we stayed in had high speed internet and I was able to log into my computer with Google's RDP app. Now the app is free and it gives you the ability to control your computer from another device. So that Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I was able to log into my computer a couple times a day with my cell phone and run head cleanings from the WIC reset program. Saturday morning, once we checked out of the Airbnb, we hit the road for a short trip over to Port Canaveral. And once we finally got checked in and on the ship, I went up to the Lido deck where I still had cell phone service and logged into my computer one last time before sailing off. I wanted to run yet another head cleaning and I also wanted to set up automatic printing using the two printer program. Now I don't have to worry about finding service while I'm out at sea or in another country to have my printer print something on the daily. The task manager is going to do that for me. Now if you want to know how I set up two printer to do automatic printing on a Windows PC, check out my other vacation video. I'll also link it in the description. Now with the two printer tasks running and printing out test pages nightly, I was able to enjoy our cruise with the peace of mind that the printer was at least printing something on a daily basis. We went on to have a great time on the cruise. We went to Amber Cove in the Dominican Republic, and we also stopped in Grand Turk and Turks and Caicos before returning back to Florida. It was good to get away and unplug for a week or so, but we had to come back to the real world. So we finally got back to the real world, and as expected, I could see all of the daily prints on the output tray tile. Now it did have a paper jam error, but that's because I left the tile in place, but next time I'll remove that tile and let the paper just drop onto the floor. So after removing the paper, I unlocked the print head carriage and folded up a shop towel and put some cleaning solution on it. Then I moved the head over the top of it and let it sit on top for about 25 minutes. After those 25 minutes, I ran the shop towel across the head in a shoe shine motion and you can see the little chunks of white ink that come out on the towel. I ran three head cleanings from the maintenance menu and checked for the white ink to show up on a nozzle check. Once I saw the white ink show up, I threw together something in Photoshop and printed it off in AcroRip. Now I'm going to do an experiment. I read somewhere that the curing process is mainly for protecting the print during shipping. And so I'm not going to cure this print in my oven. I'm just going to powder it and let it sit for a few days and see if it adheres to the shirt. So it's been almost two weeks since I powdered the print and now I'm going to see if it'll adhere to this shirt. So it looks like that print is going to adhere to the shirt and the printer is still functional after some extended time away. Now, if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Again, I had a great time on my cruise, and I had a lot of fun making this video. So until next time, guys, good luck and good night.